The big story this Thursday night at 6, 12 News going one on one with Phoenix Interim Police Chief Michael Sullivan. Sullivan was hired last year to help guide the Phoenix PD through a Department of Justice investigation over policies and conduct. And he's now facing questions about a recent surge in police shootings. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Cuddy the Divine. I'm Jonathan McCall in tonight for Mark. So far in 2023, Phoenix police officers have been involved in nine separate shootings. Tonight, we're digging into why it keeps happening. Team 12's Bram Resnick sat down one on one with the interim chief. Let's talk about the news of the week. Nine police shootings in the first 11 weeks of the year. That will be on pace for a record. What's going on? Really, the last two weeks have been really unprecedented. Seven officer-involved shootings in, in just the last two weeks. Uh, and when we look at those incidents, six of those folks were armed with guns. Six of those folks were uh, prohibited uh, possessors of firearms. They, sh they should not have had firearms. They were illegal, uh, legal firearms in their possession. Uh, and they actually produced or pointed them at our officers. A new study shows, uh, suggests that one of the reasons we're seeing this is Arizona's lax laws on guns. Uh, do you think we need some kind of gun reform to at least keep guns out of the hands of felons? You know, I've been in conversations with County Attorney Rachel Mitchell uh, and the ATF uh, uh, SAC, Brendan Iber, uh, about what we can do. You know, I think using the, uh, we have to use the tools that are out there right now. And, and I believe we can use those tools to hold people accountable. We need to. We need to hold uh, prohibited possessors, people that shouldn't have handguns, uh, when we catch them with handguns, need to hold them accountable. Because not only in these situations, but we find in homicides and non-fatal shootings and even victims of those crimes, uh, that is a common thread that we see over and over and over again, is uh, they, they are folks that shouldn't be uh, possessing guns. How about at the front end, finding a way that they to prevent them from possessing weapons. You know, it, there are thousands and thousands, millions of guns in this country. Uh, and when we talk about preventing guns, uh, getting into criminals' hands, it's, you know, they're criminals. Uh, they are getting these guns illegally to, to begin with. Uh, you know, I think enforcing the laws that we have on the books and, and if legislators and policymakers decide that uh, they give us different tools, we'll use those tools, but we'll use the tools that we have today. You were brought in uh, because of your experience with DOJ investigations uh, in past job. Uh, how much of your time is being consumed by that investigation? There's a, definitely a portion of my day that is spent every day. As a matter of fact, this morning, uh, I spent some time uh, already discussing uh, the, the investigation and what we uh, what we can expect. We expect the Department of Justice to be here in April uh, for an on-site visit, and uh, you know it is something that we consistently work on. Uh, but it, it it's not what we're here for. We're here to prevent and control crime uh, and provide justice to the citizens of Phoenix. That's what the majority of my time is spent towards, and that's what I will continue to focus on because that's that's why we exist as a profession. When and how will that investigation end? Uh, that's a good question for the Department of Justice. Uh, you know, I would be ready for it to be over today and see what uh, the results of their investigation are, uh, but uh, it's not going to change what we do every single day. Talk about staffing levels. We're hearing that many uh, desk officers are being moved out into the street. Uh, how is that affecting uh, your ability to protect the folk, the people of Phoenix? Well, I can tell you this time last year, we were not in a, a good state. Uh, the, the level of hiring and attrition uh, was not good. We lost over 100 officers uh, last year. Uh, what we've seen is an increase in hiring in the last several months. We, we've hired classes of over 30 officers. Uh, we've seen uh, the, the staffing level of the department stabilized uh, since, since I've been here for the last seven months. We've seen the classes increase and we've seen attrition uh, decrease. So uh, that's a good thing, uh, but uh, we, we need growth. We truly need growth. You've talked about officers self-assessing their conduct, I think. What's your assessment of the culture of this department? This is an incredible department. Uh, I'm so blessed to be a part of this department. Uh, we, we have to get better every single day. When I talk about self-assessing, I talk about being able to, to, to look and, and when we do have things that, that don't meet the standard, that we call it that it's not meeting the standard and we fix it uh, going forward. If this were an incredible department, as you say, would you be here right now? This department didn't appear to be working very well before you arrive. I think if you go to any major city police department in the, in the country, we have challenges. 
We, but I can tell you that people come to Phoenix to see the way we are doing certain investigations. Uh, we are held up as a model uh, of the homicide investigations we did. We just went to uh, Miami and Tulsa for some national conferences uh, where they asked the, 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 uh, uh, the folks asked us to present what we're doing here in Phoenix. Certainly, uh, anybody can get better, and we're going to work uh, to do whatever we can to get better every single day. And the U.S. Department of Justice investigation of Phoenix PD is now in its 20th month. The DOJ has a long list of questions about police conduct under the previous chief, Jerry Williams. Taxpayers are footing the bill. At last count, the city had spent $1 million to respond to DOJ investigators. So this is far from over. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It'll big, be an big, interesting visit. When yeah, I was going to say, some big days coming up in April for the Phoenix PD. Absolutely. All right, Bram, thank you. Thanks, Bram.